नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑन न्यू ऑन भारत आ फर्स्ट दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन सॉल्व क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम भारत ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आस्क यू डाउट बाय द फॉर्म हुज लिंक हैज बिन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम आवर साइंस एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर हु इज हेयर विद अर्स टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर इज अ सीनियर मोस्ट साइंटिस्ट एट विज्ञान प्रसार न्यू दिल्ली He is also the founder of India Science Wire. So let's begin the session with today's question. Today's question is: What is bioterrorism, and what are the defense mechanisms we can use in place to combat bioterrorism? Bioterrorism is uh, a new challenge that the world is uh, facing in uh, contemporary times. Okay, so if you look at uh, the uh, uh, time between 1970s and 2014. different parts of the world have uh, uh, faced biological chemical and radiological uh, uh, challenge okay like in japan you had a radiological challenge okay uh, and chemical uh, as been uh, happening in many parts of the world chemical warfare and things of that kind uh, including uh, bhopal gas tragedy okay and uh, if you look at the biological there are also been cases of uh, biological uh, uh, let's say terrorism or challenge that has emerged in different parts of the country different parts of the world like say for example in japan we know that a uh, 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 mentally unsound person uh, who had a certain uh, let's say uh, religious fanatic uh, released a uh, uh, biological agent into a crowded uh, subway right yeah i mean uh, metro rail so uh, these are all some challenges that is happening today many simple pathogens like anthrax okay or plague or uh, smallpox you know which is a virus smallpox virus can be released into an environment and it can cause uh, serious disease okay and it can uh, uh, overwhelm the uh, medical uh, uh, facilities in a country and can create a condition of chaos it can also kill a lot of people directly okay uh, these are all the uh, challenges that uh, one emerges from this uh, 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 pathogens uh, and uh, when this pathogens are used as a terrorist weapon we call it as bioterrorism the uh, uh, bioterrorism can be by state actors it can be by non state actors okay so there are international conventions to prevent state actors from using biological agents okay so the biological agents like anthrax smallpox can uh, cause severe population damage to the population so you need a uh, uh, lot of uh, steps before uh, a biological uh, uh, weapon can be produced okay so you need to acquire specimen you need uh, uh, information how to make a bio weapons which are of course publicly available now you need to buy certain kinds of equipments okay so where uh, 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 so that uh, this uh, biological material can be grown in large numbers okay so you need to have a uh, uh, culturing of this biological uh, material and uh, some kind of a propagation uh, uh, agent so you have to come company and then you have to weaponize it maybe you put it into some kind of a canister or things of that kind and then uh, you you need to uh, disperse this uh, weapon so these are all the different stages in uh, the uh, bioterrorism challenge so people are working on checking at each point okay checking at each point that uh, how do we ensure that uh, 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 they don't develop into bio weapons in future okay so uh, but uh, like uh, 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 later but the uh, yeah, nobel prize winner said that there is no technical solution to the problem of biological weapon it needs ethical human and moral solution ultimately if you look at it okay but yet uh, uh, there are uh, plans for uh, uh, facing the bioterrorism one is for example let's say 
developing vaccines for uh, many of these agents which can become bioterrorism. So if you have vaccine, then uh, uh, that agent will no longer be possible as a bioweapon. Okay. Uh, for that, uh, people are looking at it. So similarly, then biomonitoring and biosurveillance. So you look for people who are affected and see if there is any unnatural uh, 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 biological uh, pathogen seen in places. Okay. So if you see a very unnatural uh, uh, biological uh, pathogen in a particular place, there is a possibility that it has been intentionally introduced by someone. Okay. So this uh, biosurveillance is. Uh, something that uh, one is uh, uh, trying to do, okay, to uh, find out whether the bioterrorism is happening or not. Okay. So similarly, hospital preparedness, treatment, uh, the right kind of drugs for uh, possible pathogens which can be used as a bioweapon. These are all uh, 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 preparedness that uh, the uh, government has put in place to face the biological terrorism challenge in India.